What's up, YouTube? TMZ1313 here. I just got my um, solar panel set up in my apartment. Uh, pretty simple. It's not much. It only powers, uh, right now, two 12-volt um, LEDs. One's in my um, bedroom and one is in my living room. Um, so what I got here is pretty simple. A 10 amp uh, wind ignition uh, charge controller. I got a 100 watt solar panel. I do have another one. I just don't have it co connected. It's just sitting at the wall, not being used at the moment. There's really no need for it. Um, now, I got this little battery box. It's four of these batteries, basically. 12 volt. Hooked up in uh, parallel. I'll show it to you. It's kind of messy. If you haven't already figured that from our other videos. But. So I got my battery. It's all hooked up to my negative wire. And then that's hooked up to my positive. Um, it's fused. Yeah, a little, uh, little um, volt and amp meter. I'll turn on the LED and I'll show you guys. Um. So, this is, um, these are actually old batteries. If I could get these this date seven fourteen oh nine. So what was that? Six years old. These batteries are six years old, and they're still holding the charge and uh, being able to um, take out a load a uh, decent amount of time. I got this hundred watt solar panel, which is plenty to charge this little battery bank, which is roughly around twenty six amp hours, probably less. You could tell they're worn out um, under load. They run lower than my other batteries. Now I do have different batteries. So I actually have an AGM sealed battery. Lead acid AGM. And uh, that's 35 amp hours. So if anything I could connect this. It's basically a brand new battery for the most part. And uh, if... If things really go downhill, then I could just hook it up to this uh, 244 amp hour battery bank with a uh, charge controller and all that. And this has been uh, sitting for a few days, uh, probably a week. And it's only at 12.9, so going good. Here's one of my lights that uh, is controlled off the 12 volt. Kind of hard to see, but it's just a 12 volt controlled, all wired through the lamp. So there you go. Here's the second lamp that I use in my bedroom. So I do plan on getting an inverter or anything else I need to run. Like a refrigerator, if anything ever happened, I could just switch to my bigger battery bank and uh, my put my solar panels in parallel, get 200 watts out of those. Well, oh, close to it, anyways. And uh, yeah, so right now I don't have anything venting in these, so I keep the lid cracked open and I check on it periodically throughout the day just to make sure everything's good, everything is fused. Um, got this kind of just a cheaper way of doing it without waterproof. It's just the terminals, but anyway, this should be this battery bank should be charged by the end of the night. Uh, hopefully, I get some video of that and I'll show it to you guys. So, as you could tell, I'm getting topped off. Uh, it's about peak hours right now. It's at, uh, 
Well, it's going back down now with a 14 0. Bunch of greens good. Got the 14 0. That means good. So, this is good for the night. I basically use the lamps all night long. I do plan on getting a 12 volt fan too, a Salem fan. Alright. And so that's my little solar setup in my uh, apartment. See you guys there.